Hi, I'm Tere Foster. I would like to introduce to you food for well-being from my Whole Foods kitchen. Food for well-being reaches beyond health and into the multidimensional levels of well-being. We have identified seven universal levels of well-being. Survival is the zero point, where we tread water and worry about bills and getting by. Then we rise above survival mode to care about our physical health, our education, our emotional health, personal well-being in body, mind, and spirit. Then we expand to care about others, starting with our family, broadening our focus to the community, and deepening our commitment to all humanity in our quest for well-being. Our new website, hubohm.com, addresses all seven levels of well-being. Food for well-being is one of many projects you will find at Hubohm. Hubohm is the highest universal basis of ongoing management. We establish seven questions as a guideline to use before we get involved with any plan or project or product to ensure that we are on the road that leads to well-being on all seven levels. When we started making the Food for Well-Being plan, we started with the seven basic questions of Habon. We wanted to be able to answer yes to every one of these significant questions. The final result was what we call Food for Well-Being. It's a collection of Whole Foods packets and recipe packets. And yes, we addressed all seven levels of well-being. Some of our packets are for breakfast and some for dinner. The dinner packets are full of ethnic spices that will transform Whole Foods into a delight. We put them into two sets, all the breakfast items and all the dinner items. And we were able to answer all seven questions with a resounding yes. <laughs> 3dhealth.net was our original website where we narrowed our focus to personal well-being. So let's start with these three questions. Is it healthy? Is it intelligent? Is it empowering? These three questions lead to personal well-being, and we believe that personal well-being leads to global well-being. So as we started creating the plan for food for well-being, our first and obvious question to answer is, is it healthy? So we started with whole foods to make complete plant protein, and didn't add any other ingredients. We add ethnic spices for each theme, and they're pre-measured, but not processed in any way. One of the biggest health concerns is that when you change to whole foods, you might not be getting enough protein. But plant protein has been proven to be healthier than animal protein in the long run. We started the plan by assigning an ethnic cuisine to each day of the week, and we rotate these every week. We wanted a variety so that if we stuck to the same plan week after week, we would always look forward to those meals. The Whole Foods packets are for people who like to cook from scratch. One packet makes one quart of whole foods when it's fully cooked. Four servings, one cup each. In this plan, we soak all the beans at the same time, and we bring whole foods to life by soaking them in water where they triple in size and weight. We then cook them all in the same pot at the same time with the same amount of fuel or gas 
or electricity, depending on what kind of stove you have, and all your meals for the week are ready to serve. We combine rice and beans to make complete protein for every meal. If you are used to cooking one meal at a time, the quickest way to use our food packets is to have the smallest rice cooker and the smallest pressure cooker and cook them both at the same time. Store the leftovers in jars to take for lunch. If the food is hot in the jars, it will seal as it cools. Of course, we want to make sure that it is an intelligent plan using the best possible parameters to guide our menu. The plan has to be the cheapest possible, the most delicious possible, and the healthiest possible. It has to store in the smallest amount of space with the lightest weight without causing any harm to the environment, to animals, or to our fellow man. Does that sound like we're making too big a deal out of a meal plan? Not when you realize that your food purchases impact all seven levels of well-being. If we truly do want to solve world hunger and protect the environment, we have to start making intelligent plans that lead to the personal and global well-being we desire. The whole plan is written here in this cookbook called Food for Well-Being. We encourage you to try the digital copy to save trees and eliminate printing costs. So yes, the plan is intelligent. It's based on current and well-researched information. It touches on all seven levels of well-being and it equips you to decentralize the power of the food industry. We do that by becoming the producer instead of the consumer. Times have changed. America was once a strong nation built on families that owned land and were able to sustain themselves from their own land. Now, pastures and farms have been replaced by factory farms. The producer was transformed into the consumer or the workforce. And we no longer own land and are no longer self-sustaining. We have completely become dependent upon the food supply chains who have systematically destroyed the planet and who kill millions of animals every day and tell us we have to eat them in order to be healthy. Many levels of well-being can be restored when we avoid playing the role of the consumer but instead reclaim the role of the producer. This plan empowers us to do just that. When you cook from scratch, you are empowered to say no to chemical sprays, to say no to GMO, to say no to factory farms. Every time we play the role of the consumer, it comes in a package that ends up in our landfills. Now, instead of being self-sustaining producers who grow and produce their own food, the only thing we produce is about five pounds of trash a day. This is obviously not a plan that can continue forever. What can we do to solve this problem? We must relearn how to be the producer instead of the consumer. Food for well-being is packaged in biodegradable and compostable bags nothing to add to our landfill. So yes, the plan is empowering because we empower people to reclaim the role of the producer with books, recipes, classes, videos, and food products to support that goal. We believe we can heal the world and solve all these problems just by choosing to cook dinner from scratch, from whole foods that we purchase from a different source. So yes, it is healthy, it is intelligent, and it is empowering. The next level of well-being is family well-being.
families are the building blocks of a community and therefore the building blocks of humanity. Studies show that families that eat around the table are less likely to have eating disorders. They'll eat better and less likely to eat junk food. So when reaching for well-being for your family, one meal around the table every day is very important. The meat eater would consider food for well-being to be side dishes, but the gluten-free, the vegan, the vegetarian would consider this their whole meal. This is why we say it unifies the family, because the gluten-free, the vegan, the vegetarian, the meat eater, even the dieter can all eat these foods and agree that they're delicious, that they're good for you, and they're organic. One of the biggest problems with organic produce is the waste. At times, it costs less to dump it than to give it away, and farmers take a loss. There is such a short window of time to get this produce to market. So we found a company, Just One Organics, that decided to get involved. Just One Organics quickly picks up the organic produce that would have gone to waste, pays the farmer so that he doesn't take a loss, turns it into crystals that have a long shelf life through a gentle drying process without adding any other ingredients. And we support all of these projects by adding these crystals to our food packets. This is why we are confident to answer yes to the question, is it sustainable? By supporting organic farmers, we avoid supporting farming practices that destroy the earth for future generations. Next question, is it humane? Lotus Foods went directly to the world's poorest farmers to help them get their organic certification and teach them how to produce more rice with less seed and less water. They helped to get more of the profits to end up in the farmer's pocket by selling direct to us and eliminating the established food supply chains. Fair Trade sets up schools for children instead of making them part of the workforce and these efforts will soon eliminate poverty and illiteracy around the world. So we say yes to new supply chains. We say yes to rice. Because 70% of the world's poor rely on rice for their income. So when we buy rice direct from these farmers, we help to eliminate poverty around the world. But wait, what about survival? That should have been the first question. Is it stabilizing? Does the plan help us survive and thrive better? Does the plan provide our basic needs? Are we more self-sustaining in an emergency? Could we survive if there was an interruption in the food supply chain? We designed them for this purpose. We started with whole foods that store well for long periods of time. We put them in a set, one of each. They store well, they stack well, and they're cheaper than buying food at the store. So yes, it is very stabilizing to have a food storage system that is also the food you eat on a daily basis. So in a crisis, you wouldn't have to learn suddenly how to eat your whole foods and go through the process of changing your diet during a crisis. And finally, these foods can be planted. In a true crisis, if we were starting over, we could actually plant these foods to grow more. Food for well-being helps us answer every one of these questions with a yes. 
Is it stabilizing? Yes, it helps us save time, save money, save energy. Is it healthy? Yes, it improves our health and the health of those we feed. Is it intelligent? Yes, it relieves stress around mealtime by having a rotating menu and by cooking our meals for the week. Is it empowering? Yes, it empowers us to say no to chemical sprays and GMOs and factory farms. Is it unifying? Yes, it gets families back around the table. Is it sustainable? Yes, it saves the environment from systematic destruction. And is it humane? Yes, it helps us to avoid the established food supply chains that rely heavily on forced labor, child labor, and unfair trade. The average family spends about $550 a month on food. One dinner box of Food for Well-Being is a week of meals for a family of four. For a single person, it might be enough for the month. Have a box shipped weekly or monthly or purchase a one-year supply all at once. Start eating whole foods for every meal. When you order a box of Food for Well-Being, you can choose what goes into the box or you can take the standard box that has one of each item. If you've never cooked with whole foods in your life, then baby steps would be to just use the seasoning packets and add them to canned beans. What could be simpler than that? If you already have a lot of whole foods in your food storage, then the seasoning packets would be perfect for you to get those out of the basement and onto the table. Fill your shelves with whole foods, fill your refrigerator with exciting meals, improve your diet overnight. Just heat, garnish, and serve. Take our classes to learn to cook or let us cook for you. It doesn't matter which, the outcome is the same. So we hope you will join the Food for Wellbeing movement and get started today.